pre-live. Live. For the rewatches. With my crazy hair. Who hair? Crazy hair. Oh. Who hair? Who hair? No, I I'm not a that. who. No, not right now. Alex Lou who? There you be. There I am. Oh my god. There you be, live on camera. How are you guys doing? Hello everybody. Welcome to another shop with me. Today we're going to Goodwill. <laughs> it's hello everybody and welcome to another Thirst With Me video. Oh. Okay, that's it. <sighs> How are you guys doing? I'm a little tired, but I'm okay. Yeah, me too. Yesterday was long. It was. If you follow me on Instagram or Aaron, Aaron posted some photos too. We got to meet the lovely Katie from Vintage and Vinyl. So we drove. We. Well, he. I was just a passenger. We drove kind of far to. I mean, Katie did too. We like kind of met up in the middle. Um. But then our way back was even longer because there was a wreck on the interstate. True. And we got off. So it was like the one direction we were going was like 58 minutes or something. And the rerouted directions was like an hour and a half. <laughs> so. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Very, very unique place. Mm-hmm. And we got Peterson in there. Deborah, hello. Beth. Pamela renews it 13. Miss Dam Jewelry. Miss Dam. Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. I think it's all kitschy cat in there. Yep. Hi, Deborah. And Miss Pamela Hammett. Mm-hmm. Love your scarf. Oh, she's talking about my headband. <laughs> it's from Bath and Body Works when I worked there. So I don't know if you could like get it again. <laughs> no. Also, no. I can't tell like tell them where to go get it. Is <laughs> no, my point. <laughs> no. No, that wasn't it. Nope. So Virginia. Look at that girly hairdo. Leanne, Ooh. hello. Maybe it'll keep my hair out of my face and I won't touch it as much. It was a very interesting little town we went to with Katie. It's the self-proclaimed antique capital or something. Yeah. But their hours were for like... But they didn't... They were like from whenever to whenever. Is what, it's what it said, too. Whenever we feel like it. Yep. Yep. Like if you looked on Google, they all opened at 10, mm -hmm. but then you get there and we see, well, first there was like kind of nobody and we see a lady crossing the street. I'm like, are you guys going to open today? And she's like, well, they might open at 11 and sometimes they open and sometimes we open at 10 and it was like 1030 and nobody was open. <laughs> like, yeah, it was crazy. I see Pamela Blanchard, <gasps> Miss Pamela Blanchard. Hello. Warren, hello. But yeah, it was unique. There was a lot of antique stores around there. There was one we went to, and then you asked them about the little town where they were, and they oh, kind of smileys. Like, they kind of chuckled at you or something. Mm -hmm. Like good luck with them being open. But it was still very cool, very photogenic. I guess is that the word? It was. Yeah, it was a great place to take pictures. It was like, what, 1812 or something? Was it established, something like that? Um, No, 18, I think it was like 27. Florida is not very old in the way of establish, established like communities and cities and towns and things like that. Um, you'd have to go more northeast for the older stuff. Hello, Kara. Pamela is lurking. And hey, lurking. Mom. Yep, hello, Mom. <sighs> And then I, he, um, your stepdad says that he watches. So, Mark, if you see this. Hello. Hello. <laughs> He's watches a lot of YouTube, I guess, my mom says. So, that's interesting. So, you got a lot of good things today. Yeah, I think so. I we, know we, so. We went to our antique booth to put some stuff. Yeah, it's not going to stop me from touching my hair. Not at all. <laughs> um, we went to go put some antique stuff. Or not some antique stuff. We went to our antique booth to put some stuff there. And we met up with Diane. Hi, Diane. And she was lovely as always. And she had mm -hmm. lots of little things picked out for us. And did I? I think I bought maybe one or two things 
from the store. I was gonna film there to do another like shop with me video from there, but we ran out of time. Yeah. It was taking a long time it and we was. had to get back. Um, we did. Well, we got some cool stuff. But we did, Diana's, yeah, we got some cool as stuff. As always. And then we got a few things when we were out with Katie yesterday. Um, Katie hit the jackpot on her like album collection. Oh, yes. She did good there. Yeah, she found some good ones. So, um, but yeah, we have quite a few things. We have some stuff saved for Sunday, so you guys make sure. If you don't have any 4th of July plans, a lot of people don't plan anything till the evening, or if you get rained out, maybe consider stopping by mm -hmm. the sale on Sunday. We're still going to be here 1 p.m. Eastern. So it's raining again. It is. Probably. Mm. I asked Mama, oh, she answered back about pickleball tomorrow. She said it sounds great if it wasn't like a gazillion percent chance of rain. Well, she said 100% chance, but yeah, normally it's, it's rained. Single, but it's yeah, I was going to say it's rained every single day. Yeah, and I don't like driving in the rain, really. We was so excited about going to meet y'all. She, oh, she, right. was, she was so cute. She was so cute. Do I throw pickles at people? <laughs> <laughs> That's no. a, one way to play it. Might be fun, though, because he hates pickles. Yes. It'd be fun to see him dodge them pickles. It's like a... It's cross between tennis and ping pong, maybe. Or and like maybe a bit of badminton. Maybe a bit of badminton. Mm -hmm. But it's very fun. Shirley Pearl, hello, Shirley. Peacock Parlor. Seventy percent chance of rain. It's like always a hundred here, it seems. Yeah. Michelle, hello. Blue flamingo, hello. Hey. All of our friends were here. That's right. So yeah, we're still, um, they still kind of salty about it. Yeah, sorry. Because she's in the UK. What happened? American Revolution. Oh, oh Our 4th gotcha. of July, our Independence Day. Gotcha. So that's okay though. They can be salty. Um, hmm. Yeah, so if you guys, hi Proud American. Hello. If you guys are around, we're still going to be doing a sale. So there's that. We also got quite a few things listed in our eBay store. Mm -hmm. I mean, quite a few things for us listed in our eBay yeah, store. Yeah, right, exactly. Um, what else is new? Or anything else going on? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> no. I'm thinking, no. I think you kind of went over everything but the rules. But the rules. Your mom said you've been doing good though at listing. Thanks, mom. Oh, and she's she's so excited. She has, mom got us, I don't know if I showed you guys. She got us like a, no, because I sold the planter. Oh, wait, I did something. The Nippon base, what? Didn't you want to say anything about the postal situation or no? Oh, okay, yeah, that'll probably go along with the rules. Okay. Right? But she got us this Nippon vase. Um, she found it last weekend when she went out thrifting and we put it up for auction. And I, I don't know, like a lot of things, they tend to sell better as buy it nows, but some things I'm just like, I don't know what someone would pay for this thing. And there's so many different Nippon vases that are painted differently to tell, okay, what's mine worth? So, yeah. We just started out and it has a bid, so she was excited about that. That's exciting. I put that blue thing, or we put that blue thing on there that. Um, Azerbaijan. Yeah. The Russian thing. glass. Yeah, that thing was oh, cool. Oh, the one we saw yesterday at the antique store, that was beautiful. It was so like now, a purpley color. I know, so now I've seen two of them things in the last week or so. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Michelle. <laughs> what happened? She said you two are so cute. Thanks. Okay, so. The rules. the rules if there's anyone watching that wants to participate today um i will go over every so often i go over it more in depth so we'll just we'll just do that this time um alex did you see my comment i think she said check your email or something i was oh, trying to read real quick i will if you emailed me just like n like now within the last like maybe 20 minutes or so, I put my phone on that do not disturb thing. Right there. Nope. Keep going. Right there. Right. Oh. Okay. I'll be sure to check that. No problem. 
Um, did y'all find out what that gorgeous face was? That's the closest, that blue one, I think, is what she's talking oh, okay. about. That's the closest we can figure is that it's the I Russian. I think she guessed right when she, she said that. The Azerbaijan mm -hmm. glass. Um, it, when we were, when I was researching the artist, it said a lot of its pieces were marked, but a lot of them weren't. So we can only go with what we suspect. Mm -hmm. And um, in the listing, we made sure to say, like, this is what we think. This is what our uh, um, research has led us to. But I'm not 100% certain. But I'll I'll be sure darned if it's not a spitting image of some other stuff. Yeah, right. Hey, Angela. That's like Bria Gia, hello. Saying it's Murano. I was just gonna say, let's just call it Murano. Everything else is. Oh my gosh. So okay, again, back to what I was saying. So let's see. For the rules, if you guys want to play along, it's pretty easy. Um, if you are new here, we had again some. We had. We always want new people, right? Yes. We always want new people. Uh, um, of course. But. You got it. You can understand how new people sometimes can make us leery, and why that is is because um, sometimes things get bit up, and it's like you wonder, like, are they just messing with me, or just because there's people that do that, unfortunately. So, like last week, there was people, and the week before, like there's a fairy lamp that that person bit and, up. And it and sometimes and they it's... never email you. They never intend to pay. They never do anything like right. that. So. Um, one of the good ways for us to think that you you are in hopefully real, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. right, is to just go ahead and send us your information. You would just email okay. us. I'm not asking for like your credit card information or your firstborn or anything like that. Just email us at chapter two vintage at gmail dot com, and I need your hi Katie. Hey Katie. I need your um your real name, your YouTube name your PayPal email, because that's how you'll get your invoice, and I need your shipping address. And just remember that we ship from Florida, depending on where you live in the US, be mindful of that because of, you know, however much your item's gonna weigh, because shipping isn't included in the price of the item, you do pay shipping. Mm -hmm. And on that shipping note, we had a meeting with the postmaster here, and I was, I was upset because... Yeah, you were upset. <laughs> The last year since COVID has started, the post office has not honored one, one claim, one claim that I've filed. Um, just the other day, I had to give back like oh, 50 something dollars worth of money to a person that had broken items. Um, and I didn't even bother filing a claim because every single one has been denied, denied mm -hmm. from the post office. And this was his suggestion to me. This is what the post office master said to me. And he said he wishes places like eBay and Etsy would do this. If you get an item from us and you see that it's broken, this is what I need you to do. I need you to save the item. I need you to save the packaging. Because when you send me the pictures and, and the pictures of the packaging when it's broken, I have to take all that information and I have to fill out a form with the post office. Mm -hmm. Well, they take like a month and then they send me a letter. And the letter says to bring the box to the post office. Well, I don't have the box. Well, by you then, no have, one does. Right, you technically have the box. But since it's a month later, you probably threw the box away. Mm -hmm. So that's what I need because I have been like, Unfortunately, things get broken. Yes. Um, and we've had to give refunds, and we're out the money that we spent on the item. We don't have the item anymore. I had to give a refund. Now, the only thing I won't do is I won't refund shipping because I don't have it to give. It is spent. We gave it to the post office to ship it to you. So, so going forward, if you guys get something and it happens to be broken, I need you to save your box, and I need you to save the item. And this is why they're going to want you to go to the post office and you need to bring it there and show them that your item is broken. Come in. When then you're supposed to fill out a form because this is what the postmaster said. You sit there and you fill out a form at your post office. And when the claim is approved, then I can give you a refund for the money. 
Um, I hate to have to do that, but it really sucks to be, and sometimes it's the littlest thing that's broken. I mean, yes, if it's broken, it's broken, but like, say this guy came to you and his tail was broken off, right? It's technically broken and you want your money back because you paid for an item in its entirety, but most likely you're just going to glue the tail back on and you get to keep the item. I don't have it anymore. So I'm kind of screwed all the way around. So that's what he suggested was that you guys need to save your packaging and save your item and you go to the post office and you show them what they need to see. And when you, when they fill out that paperwork, they said a lot of times, or it used to be, it took a while to get approved, but they'll just take the form and they go back to their office and they go doo -doo 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 -doo, and they fill it out. And then usually you get your like approval or disapproval yeah. right away. Um, and that's when I can issue the refunds because it really sucks <laughs> um, having to do this. And I like, I literally, I like, I threw a bag across the floor and I'm like, this is what you guys do to my stuff. You know, you like throw the boxes and, you know, um, I can only package this stuff so well with such, so many packing materials or, you know, but that's going to be it. And, um, also, for when it comes to paying, I've said this before, but I will hold an item from sale to sale. Unless you message me and say, you know, like, Alex, X, Y, and Z happened. Can you hold right. this for me? Um, if not, it goes right back up for sale the next, the next time. Um, like, I understand that you guys might want the item, and maybe you had intentions of paying or whatever, or, you know, maybe you got kind of regret, like, oh, crap, why did I just spend that much money? Um... But at the same time, this is how we eat. So I have to either, it needs to, either needs to go to you if you bought it or it needs to be sold and go to someone else. I, we're not in the business to keep things, if that makes sense. There you go, just personal delivery. There you go. <laughs> I wish. Should be able to do another sale by Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> right? So I hope that makes um, sense to you guys. I hope you guys understand. Um, I will... Um, I don't know. I, I'll just, I guess I'll just keep reminding you. And if anything ends up broken, you know, I mean, we don't intend for things to end up broken. That's never our goal, obviously. A lot of people saying they got their package, excellent packing. You, you can pack them excellent. And I mean, they, they're brutal on them sometimes. Yeah. They are. So like he literally said, he was like, we don't throw your boxes or something like that. No, he, he said, said you, you want us to throw your boxes and not the machines to handle them is what he says. Oh yeah. Cause you know, he blamed it on the, the machines. He was a really nice guy. Don't get me wrong. And he's, he said he would try to help however he could. But I told him, I said, I, um, I, I said, I think that this is rigged. I think that it's like, it's like, uh, getting into a car accident or, you know, trying to work with your insurance company somehow and they beat around the bush so much that you give up and then they get to keep all their money. I think it's like purposely designed to do that. So, but that's what we have to do going forward because it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. I mean, $50 the other day, a few weeks ago was a hundred dollars, you know, and I filled out a, a claim for that and they still... Yeah. Said, show me, bring it to the post office. I don't have it. Yeah. So. It's impossible. So I but hope that makes sense to everybody. I forgot to say hi to Sandy. Hey, Sandy. Hi. And Deirdre. Deirdre, I think she's real friendly with her post person. Oh, yeah, we heard her, her talking. Postal person. <laughs> oh, that's Hi, Miss Cindy. Cindy J. Hi, Jamie. Jamie, hello. Yeah. Um, ba, ba, ba. <laughs> These hilarious. But I can write it off on my taxes. That's, <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, that's fantastic, but wouldn't it be easier if they just did their job to begin with? Because when we, sh pay, when we <laughs> ship priority, we pay for the insurance. Right. Point blank. But that's he's, that's he's your job. Good, he was a good guy. He said he worked with us. He's a real nice guy. He's very helpful. I must say. So I shouldn't have to, at the end of the day, weed it all out in my taxes when they should just do what I pay them for. I pay for that service. I pay for that protection in the first place. So. Okay, cool. 
Anyways. Um, I think that's it. What if a plane crashes? What the hell is that going to do? I with? have no idea. Anyways, we're going to get started. We're going to do it. I think you went over everything. You got, again, quite a few flat price items. And then you got a few offer ups. Mm hmm. First time here. Welcome. Welcome. Happy to have you. Planes transport. I I know, Mom, but there's a backstory to this particular person. Do you want to show an item real quick, like a plastic item? Okay. Do we have? Let me see here. <laughs> All right, I got one here. We got this little. Glass bottle dog. <laughs> I don't know how tall was he. He's only a few inches tall, I think. About three and a half inches tall. The cap does still come off. I have no idea what they would have put in there. A little doggy. And it is again a flat priced item. It is ten dollars number fourteen. Ten dollars number fourteen. Hello, KCATX. Hello, KC. Hello. I think KCATX is always like on break or something. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I think our thing falls right around their break time. Right around their break time. Okay, let me put this aside. You still working over there? Just one more second. One more second. Maybe candy was in it? like four seconds. Possible. Okay, well, I can... Kitty, get out of there. Let's see here. I have to fix it when I get... said I didn't show it up long. Okay, so let's see. There he is. Oh, he's cute. He is cute. He's just sitting. It is a little dog bottle. I think it said it was from Lowell. Or something and like what that. Was it? $10 number 14, was it? Number 14 for $10. Okay. Did you handle that? I have to do something differently. Okay. It'll take me a bit longer, so I'll do it afterwards. Retired postal. I could, like I said, the good thing is, though, that postmaster guy was very, mm. very nice and very helpful. He definitely said he'd... You know, do what he could. Yep, but when that lady chucked my box, I was going to chuck her. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next thing we have, this bird is making in a second appearance. He's making another flyover? He is. It says, I think it says Netsy or something. Mex 4. It was funny, Angela. I agree. Oh, yeah. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> that wasn't her booth. No, it wasn't my booth. It was our uh, booth. Our booth. It, it wasn't, wasn't ours. It was a... Uh, Thank you, Casey. A funny coincidence. Um, okay, so we have this bird, Mexican pottery bird. This guy is going to be $12, and it's number 15. Hey, Pat. Hey, Pat. You're not too late. No, it's not Mark like Tanala. This is what it's marked. It's signed by the artist and marked Mex. No, no, Pamela, it wasn't our booth. It was uh, just the antique mall we went to, and I happened to see that sign. I'm like, hey, we should get a picture. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of comical. It's got the number two instead of two written out. Nope, for that one, $12, mm -hmm. number 15. He's going to fly away again. Oh, can't see. What, huh? I'm probably not doing a haul. Oh, Ruth Lawrence. From there. Ruth Lawrence. Well, thank you, Ruth. They would never do that in front of you. Well. What's that? Like throw their boxes and stuff. 
It, it, I told, even Gabriel had like exorcist neck. He couldn't believe that the lady just yeah. threw the box. He was like, did you hear that, mom? I'm like, yes, I did. I mean, even my 10 year old knew that wasn't the right choice. Yeah. Ruth Lawrence, all right. Thank you, Miss Ruth. Mm -hmm. Exorcist neck, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's everyone at that post office is great. There's mm -hmm. just one person. That's one lady in particular. Not so nice. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's like everyone else when we go in there, they they know us. And they know we're gonna need the cart to put our stuff in. And but she'll if, make us wait in but line. But every time she asks what we need, like everyone else, they see us and they, and they just go, turn oh, around and go get the and cart. Go get the big old bin that we Her, need. Her, she'll like wait for us. Can I get the cart? Thanks, Pam. What happened? I don't know. I was just seeing if anybody had any. Okay. That's what that's called? A head scarf? No, it's a headband. Okay. It's just tied in a knot like a scarf. Okay. The next thing we have, this is one of the items we did pick up yesterday at the antique store. It is. It's the bicentennial plates for Michigan. I thought they were really cool. I know 4th of July is so close, but still really awesome. Um, this It's a legit plate. It's not, you know, like a Hobby Lobby license plate because they do sell those there um this is sixteen dollars and it's number five sixteen dollars number five mom says the post office knows her by the size of her mailbox sandy mm-hmm sandy all right thanks sandy i thought sandy might like that hi picasso cat hello She said, I can honestly say I was not that lady when I worked. Well, good for you, Christy. I think it was someone, there, someone said that every post office has someone. Oh, yeah. Like oh, well, it's every true. business yeah. has that person, you know? This is true. Hey, Chicago lady. I think Dee says that her person calls in sick when she has a scheduled pickup. <laughs> Poor Deidre. <laughs> I could just see the fuse. Like, it's just... Funny to picture. Just leave her some like prune cake and maybe it'll make her happy or something. Prune cake and that would be mm -hmm. like fruit cake or something? No, prunes. Oh. Maybe that's her problem. <sighs> um, okay, so the next item we have, we normally do these as offer ups, but I was able to get a really good deal on this. So I'm just going to do a little flat price item for you it has a little uh this is what i would do erin it has a uh you're fine relax breathe what is that called people transfer wear has a little there bit of transfer you, go. See, wear. you got it right there very cool i love these little hands all the See, different Peterson's shapes gotcha it's 16 dollars and it's number seven there's no chips or cracks or anything no. so 16 dollars number seven I think I was watching that thing. Wasn't it? Oh, Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. <laughs> I, I think, I think that was her, her estate haul, haul video, video. Right? Yeah, yeah, we were watching and hearing Dee talk about it. And I think we like just <laughs> left our post office. Yeah, we did actually. It was like perfect timing. We did. I was just like, oh my gosh. Maybe she'll <laughs> get nicer, I don't know. Okay, the next it says, this is called a Blue Ribbon Flower, it's by Blue Ribbon Flower Holder Co. And it says patented, the number four, and I think that's, isn't that Cuyahoga Falls, yes. Ohio or something? Mm -hmm. um, it's it this flower frog. And we have this starting at $10. Starts at $10. I've never found one like this one. She gives you the side eye look, D. <laughs> I bet. Sandy's at 10. That's that's how the one lady is at our place. Kara says, hey, that's where I live. Yeah, that's what, here, I'll show you all the stuff on the bottom. Okay. If you can see it. All the information. Cuyahoga Falls. Katie's at $12.
the hairpin style is your favorite. It's like our table legs. That is true. On the desks you make the hairpin legs. Oh, one, two, three of those desks. Okay, Sandy's out. So twelve dollars. No, we got humbled and oh, humbled Hello, and humbled and humbled. Hey, see you in there. Is that thirteen? Vintage and Finals at 14. Miss Pamela wants to know which book you don't have, research book you didn't have. She forgot. Oh, it's expensive. There's a lot I don't have, but the two that we want is Murano and Viking Glass. And I think there was another one that we were kind of... Isn't there like a fairy lamp one we were thinking or... Something like that. But there, you might as well, you have to sell Kelly to get one of those books. Yeah. So... And we don't want you doing that. We don't want you doing that. No. Humbled in Him like is Kelly. at 15. Katie's at, at 20. 20. Would you want the one on jewelry? That's gonna be a pretty yeah. big book. Well, there's quite a few books, so you'd probably have to say that, and you had something specific in your mind, so you'd have to tell them the title. Speaking of the book, did anyone watch that thing with, uh, Vintage Viking Treasures with the Fenton guy, the guy that wrote the Fenton books. That oh, was yeah. so interesting. How he retains all I, the it was, knowledge. I've had to rewatch it over and over again because it's just, it's mind blowing. Okay, so Katie's at 20 and Humboldt and Him is out. So $20 going once, $20 going twice. Okay, we're gonna say sold. Sold to. Oh, uh, well, that's kind of like how we feel about our the Murano book we want. Okay, so I see Peterson stop, and it is to Katie for $20, number 26. Thanks, Katie. We can deliver this one to you mm -hmm. so it doesn't break. Actually, it's metal. They, uh, they better not break that. It's possible. Yes, you're right, KCATX. Exactly. What? Perfect example, don't judge a book by its cover because you would have never thought. Oh, that he knew about that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, boy did he know. It's, it was a very informative. Katie referred oh. me to go over there and I was like, Well, Miss Pamela, just send me, maybe if you have a second, send a couple of pictures. There's all kinds I don't have. Like I was almost gonna buy this Tumblr book yesterday and I have the Tumblr book, like the one that me and Dee have, and I think a few other you guys bought, but this one I've never seen before, and it goes back to like antique tumblers, like hand-blown glass, drinking glasses. But the, the this one particular antique store, the molasses lady. <laughs> no one was moving at whole, any kind of quickness in that town. The whole bin said 50% off. And I'm like, 50% off of what? Looking all around for the price tags, you know? And she just used the price on the back of the book. So if she the did. book was originally thirty dollars, like back in nineteen ninety two, she said it's fifteen, and I'm just like, D says, what's it called? What's what called? <sighs> what's what called? The Tumblr book? I don't even remember. I was annoyed. She was a sloth. <laughs> it reminds me of that. Uh, Slow with molasses. That D what's the movie? That you like? Yeah, the Disney. I think it's Disney. Yeah, it? we were just talking about it the other day. Um, Where the, all the sloths are at, at the DMV. At the DMV, they're all sloths and the working there. The rabbit is the. Yeah, because I was telling Katie how that's why we named the gazelles Giselle, because you like that movie. Mm -hmm. I love that movie. What the heck is the name of that movie? No, not, not Hop. Hop. It's where, like, the little rabbit is a... Is the police officer. Police officer. Oh, good lord. It's going to bother me now. Gabriel's told us the name of it. But she walks in there and... Gabriel! Walks into the DMV and there's all Come here, buddy. working. Zootopia. There That's what it is. Never mind. Never mind. I got it. Zoot. She says they're all sloths. <laughs> and that would be me, the rabbit, and he would mess with me and be and like tell the sloth to tell me a joke or something. That is totally his humor. You, if you I was trying to remember movie, the name it. of Zootopia. I couldn't remember the name, but they. Now, now can I have a snack? I ate lunch. I guess. He, he did. He was so funny, Kara. I, like the stamp would go down. It would. It was moving like this. It was so slow when he pulled it up, you could see like the ink stretching. <laughs> I 
I guess if you clean up your mess, mm -hmm. you have to eat out there. Okay. Up here? Well, somewhere out there, yes. What, what do you want to do? Um, I don't know. Oh, we still have some teens over here. We got here. a lot of things over there. The ink stretching, yeah. Whatever it was. And she's in a hurry. And the guy's like, hey, Flash, the sloth, his name's Flash. He said, hey, Flash, you want to hear a joke? She's like, no! <laughs> Okay. okay, that's good news. I'm glad you like that chocolate. I like it too. Okay, so the next hello, thing empty we nesting, have, AKA Maria. hello, is we have one of these single bookends. And it's this little girl with her dress holding a little top hat. Now it's not marked, but I know like Boyd Glass did stuff like this. Um, Ellie Smith has some figural ones, but they're not, I don't think they're iridescent. You guys might know who it is. There, I don't see anything in there, like a marking or anything. But anyways, there's no chips or cracks. She's so cute. Um, she's $14 and she's number 11. She is five inches tall. I think she'd look great if you do that icy blue like Christmas stuff. I think she would look great in the boat. Hi, Sue. Absolutely. Hello, Sue. I am not on a good streak today. No. After last week, it's going to be tough to beat that during the off season. Yeah. Okay. You can pick wood. You want me to pick one? Mm, it's right in front of us. I'm not if we can get some rain and thunder. All right, let me wipe my fingerprints off real quick. You do that. Fingerprints off. All right, we have this bluebird. Here's the bottom. First of the, oh yeah, rent due, I hear you. Here's the bottom, this beautiful bluebird. There's lots of little bubbles inside, not like controlled bubbles, but like bubbles in the glass, but really pretty. Look at that tail. Mm -hmm. um, this guy is $16 and it's number 10. I did get a book yesterday of glass animals. Yeah, that was cool. I did pay the 15 for that, the half off. Pamela Hammett. Thank you, Pamela. All right, number 10. Tail for days, that's right. Okay, the next thing we have, these, I love these. Those are I cool. love things with like little faces. I have a planter over there. We got it at, at an antique store. It's pretty damaged, but I love it. I love the colors on it. And it has these like ram heads all over it. But these are little like wall pockets. It has an old sticker in there. Oh wow, it has twenty five dollars on there. But anyways, it's marked you better Japan. Change your price then. I'm just so, kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> little wall pockets. I think they're cool. You can put them on your little little's wall, like I have over mm -hmm. there. You get the pair of them for fourteen dollars, and it's number sixteen. Pamela Ham says she got her first bluebird. Oh, yay. Hey, she didn't have one of those. Dolores. Dolores. Hey, Dolores. Two people like that, and Amy liked it. Well, good. Does that make you feel better? Now you're back on your street. I'm not back on my street because <laughs> we already have something that didn't sell. It's all right, but you start a new one. Oh, that's how it works? I get to start over? <laughs> no, don't start the, sh the show over. Well, I got some lag because now I see more people coming in. I'm going to... Them. You're gonna show them yours? My planter. Oh, that's got legs or something sticking out of it. Yes, it does. What else would you have sticking out of a planter but old wooden legs? This is my planter I have over there on my side table. These are goats. The other guys were like ram heads or something, but 
I love this. It looks like a Doug See, item. See, like, the chippy on the bottom and stuff? Adds character. But I love it. I'm it's a sitting beside my couch on the table. <laughs> well, you can't put it anything up higher now. The cats will break it. It is very pretty. I got to refresh because this thing is going slow. Okay. Chippy is the story, Peter's son says. We all got some chips. We do. We all got some chips. You're right about that. Okay, it's time for our uncrustable brand break. Uh, they're not paying me. I'm not nope, eating No, they're not paying. Oh, did you guys see what <laughs> Katie got me? I, I would wait for Virginia to always pick up the different items. That's why I move them around. Look that what is Katie very cool. got me. So uh, Virginia told me to send that planter to her. Uh, no. We have all of our things. Aaron got this. And this. Mm -hmm. Let me show you. Don't break my animals. Well, that's probably, that's why I didn't want to pick it up from there. All right. Katie got Aaron this. Isn't that neat? I like the colors. Yes, that I like is everything. so Actually, I like cool. everything about it. Yeah. White bowl, she said. I think oh, that's, that's a candle. A candle. Like, and then Katie got Aaron this piece. That is cool too. Is that Maniki Neko Maka? That's where we were yesterday. Maka Naka Waka. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not for sale. Katie does have great taste. I agree. And then Katie it. got me this little swan salt cellar's little um, wings closed, like open and closed. It's it, it's pronounced Micanopy, and it was named after a chief, right. a native chief. A lot of places in Florida are named after natives. It was a very interesting place. I was talking to like one of the some lady there, and she, she says they're like the insane asylum. They're fighting to keep out like Dollar Generals. They were trying to build a Dollar General around there, and they were like all fighting against it. So they want to keep that as simple as possible. And they've done a good job so far. Okay. I gotta get this off of there. You got it? Yeah. Easy. Okay. The next thing we have is this beautiful... It, it said on the tag that it was acrylic. And touching it, I think it's more acrylic maybe than Lucite. It says, it has an original tag on the back, made in Hong Kong, and then the where whoever made it's kind of, um, like, worn off. So, anyways, this actually is going to start at $20. It's going to start at $20 for this. Here's the, there's a sticker there. And this is kind of glowy on the bottom. Mm. You gonna be all right in a second? Oh, oh, yeah. See, the bottom glows. The other flowers don't really glow. I mean, they look cool, cool under the light, but that's the only piece that glows. All right, so we have Sandy at $20. And it's, it's pretty tall. It's not like a little thing. It's about nine inches tall. All right, so I only see Miss Sandy. So I'm gonna start to call it. We have $20 going once. $20 going twice. Okay, I'm gonna say sold. I'm gonna take a bite of my sandwich. Coffee. All right, to Sandy for $20, that's number 22. All right, Sandy, Sandy's tearing it up today, huh? Thank you, Sandy. Yes, thank you. Also, if there is something like, I know people come in and out that they saw in the, your thumbnail mm -hmm. and they want to do next, just let us know. Here comes the kids. They know we're busy. They're going to ask for the food they're not allowed to have, right? Can 
I have a gallon of coffee? Can, yes, can I have a mm. gallon of coffee in this tub of ice cream? Yeah, I gave her all a whole bag of chips and cheese dip and s'mores. salsa and s'mores. All right, here's the next thing we have. We have this cute puppy planter. No, I don't have any books today. This cute puppy planter. It does have a little bitty boo-boo yes. there. Right here, Sam. And right here. A little boo-boo right there. But other than that, he's in really good shape. And it feels heavier. Like, I don't think it's like a Japan. Here's the bottom. The inside and the back. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were looking for the maker or something. No. Here's the back. Anyways, he's $14 and it's number three. What? I like that. You like that? Mm -hmm. So do I. Now they make marshmallow stuffed with chocolate? Mmm. It'd probably be a lot easier, wouldn't it? Here you go. Yes, Pamela, you're right. I say the same thing, especially when school is out. Whew. Okay, so nobody for the dog. I smell peanut butter. I know I'm eating this glorious sandwich that they're not paying me for. You do work for to, for groceries, no doubt about that. Okay. You pick something. I just did. I don't have good luck. Okay, we have a fairy lamp. Yes. A little um, Moser, or how that guy say it, Moser, yes. the fencing guy. Fairy lamp. It's a teeny little baby. It's a little guy, baby. but it's really neat. You got it's it? It's a little baby one. Aaron has some LED lights in here. This guy, he's going to start at $20. It's a little bitty baby. It's even smaller than like Fenton ones that you see. It's so tiny. But it's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Really, really cool. Really, There's really the cool. M. Ooh, Can you see it? On the bottom. Um, what do you know, man? Someone just asked, what was the dog planter number? number? Oh, it was. Oh, yeah. Number three. Hold on. I forgot I put this here. Look what. Peterson sent us. Who? Peterson. Hope. Oh, Peterson oh. wants something? Peterson shark. She sent us this. Peterson shark. <laughs> Santa. This Fenton Santa fairy lamp. That's cool. So it went right into our collection. You sure that wasn't for me? I don't know. She didn't say. No, she told for. me. She said, I get the candy, you get everything else. Oh. <laughs> That's my girl. All right, so I see Kara. Um, oh, good. Peterson said number three. I'm like way behind. Hey, Gia. And okay, Judy. the dog planter. So who wants the dog planter? So I saw Peterson and Mary. So as your your Ray Dunn. Peterson, says, were you telling people it was oh, the number she three? Was, I think. Gia's it, at twenty five. It, it's very neat, Pamela. I agree. It's a cute little guy. Hi, Judy. It's not just like... Okay, so Mary wants like... number three. Okay, so let me do that. We're going to write you down for number three for the dog planter, Mary. Thank you. It's not a renews it, Pamela, 13. Amy's at 28. <laughs> so with Mary Dugan, you said? I mean, look. Look at it. I don't have like a regular one. I've sold all you guys my fairy yeah, lamps. Yeah, right there. Well, that's an owl. I don't want to reach around and grab. That's the one Joanne got you. Back I there. know. I know what it is. And then I got the one Peterson got me. Yeah, the owl. That's that's what I'm saying. He's a little like odd shaped. The one Joanne got you is more typical got, size. Uh, let's see. I just wanted to stick them side by side so you saw what I was talking about. Oh. Whoops, sorry. Shook the whole table. Stinks in there. It's like old wood. Yeah. Okay, so here's a typical Fenton. And look how tiny that is. It's so riddle. Oh, gump. But it's different. 
Okay, so Kara's out, Pamela's out, Amy's at 32. Okay, so we're gonna start calling it. $32 going once. Okay, I tell you. $32 going twice. Okay, we're gonna say sold and see what happens. It'd probably look cool to just a regular candle in there too. Mm -hmm. Or as you guys always say, the colored ones. Mm-hmm. All right, so Amy. Amy Dobbins for 32. Thank you, Amy. You chickened out, Lottie. They taste like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich <laughs> that you just don't have to make every single time. And it's a little, just a little smaller, just a little something. Okay. to come, okay. Amy Dobbins, huh? I was reading the Madonna thing. Oh. Is your cat trying to bury something? His poop. He it, doesn't. Our, he our doesn't scoop the, the litter. He, he scratches, scratches everything else beside it, but he doesn't cover his mess. Yeah, he scratches the side of the box like he's trying to rip the. Uh, oh, it's number nineteen. He's trying to rip the whole thing down. Who do? was it? Amy Dobbins. Okay. But yeah, it sounds like he's trying to rip the house down. Yours does the same thing. I know, I figured our cat couldn't be the only one. I think two of ours do that. Mm -hmm. And he'll just Butters. start scratching the floor randomly too. It's just like now he wants to like try to bury something. Your Katie does that. <laughs> I think she meant my cat. Or her, oh, her name, cat's mm -hmm. name, okay. All right, what are you gonna do next? Yep, he would try to cover everything. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next thing I have is this little Bambi Deer salt shaker, pepper shaker, whichever. Um, he's going to start at $8 because his little tail has been glued back on in his life, and you can tell. And he has a little bit of chipping going on on his little ear. But he's so stinking cute. I don't have the pair. It's just a little single guy. And I had to save him. But you can tell his tail's been glued back on. He doesn't say Disney on him, but I'll be damned if that doesn't look like Bambi. He put a whole box of the baking soda in there to absorb the odor. Huh. All the litter out of the box. That makes sense. Krista Morgan's at eight. I think you'll like this. It's very neat. It'll look so cute out with your Christmas decor, especially if you guys do like the pinks and the teals with the deer. Or you can have them out for fall with your like woodland stuff. So cute. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I should start to call it. Well, I, you can start it maybe a little give bit us, of a it line. does because like as soon as Our you were saying start, it was already in there darn near from Peterson, so. Okay, I think you can start. Okay. Oh, nope, Cindy's at 10. I think okay. I need to plug my phone in. Plug your phone in, okay. It's the curse of the Friday lag. What are you making in there? I just made something. What'd you make? A s'more, a Oh. So we got Cindy. Okay, so I'm gonna start to call it. Okay. Ten dollars going once. Ten dollars going twice. And then I'll refresh when we're done. Okay, we're gonna say sold. Okay, Peterson's got to stop in there. Okay, ten dollars to Cindy J. Thank you, Cindy. That's number 31. 31. You and me both, Sandy. You and me both. I can't get one. Oh, I know. I, I say it all the time. I'm not important enough to get a sticker. Oh, 
are y'all ready for this? <laughs> I have to get them ready for this. Okay. Here we go. What? Don't hate. I'm not hating. Don't hate on my neck. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Y'all know you like my necklace? Is that like the woman version of Mr. T's thing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is all you. Where's I your mom it. at? Where's your mom at? I know she's going to be like, that is definitely. Girls, this is all yours. All yours for $10. <laughs> and it is number eight. Miss T. $10. I pity the fool. Number <laughs> eight. Well, she said Belinda Sandy. All right. Oh, Sandy's on fire today. Sandy. And it's been modeled. Four. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Is I wanted to put it on so they could see it. Surprised you're not like slumped over or anything. Where's our sticker folders? Oh, you'll get it stuck in my hair. And she don't want none of that. There's enough of that around here. Okay, okay, the next thing we have, it's brand new in the box, and they're all these hand-blown glass wine bottle stoppers. That one's like the world. They kind of don't make sense. They don't really go together. That one's like a blue and orange leaf shape. And then this one is like Millie Fiori-esque right here. But they're all brand new. If you wanted, I guess if you wanted to open and split them up and give them as like gifts for Christmas, you could do that. The whole set, it's $15 and it's number six. $15, number six. Pat Robinson. Oh, okay. Cool. There in the there are, there's a market for those wine bottle, the glass, the art glass wine bottle stoppers. Look those up. Oh, especially the figural ones do really good. I never really find the figural ones in one piece. They're usually broken. No. Okay, I'm sorry. What's that? Number six. It's brand new. I was talking. Do the squirrel next. I like the squirrel. Thank you, Pat. Yes, thank you. As you drink your Pinot Grigio. <laughs> Fancy. Okay. Next thing we have is an art glass squirrel. Aaron loves this guy. Yeah, he's neat. He, he loves him because our squirrels ignore us. Yes. They and they do. don't want any of our peanuts. No. None of them. So he has, he likes this squirrel because it won't ignore him. Mm -mm. Okay. This guy's going to start at $18. It's he's, very neat. Yeah. He's got like, he's got his amber color and he's got almost like a leopardy spotty thing here. And then his front goes to like a white glass and then the tips of his hands and his little nose are clear. <laughs> yeah, like your insane asylum thing. Oh, thanks. It's, you guys have not noticed that? That's been no, up for a while. A lot of people have. Sometimes they don't. Brianna. <gasps> Bri Bri you, this is not a fox. You're buying what are you buying a squirrel for? Oh, cool. Very cute, yes. He is cute. <laughs> Maybe he can hold your paintbrush for you. Or, you, no, wait, your glue gun wouldn't work. That would be a bad idea. Yeah. Well, you could use him for fall. <laughs> Kimberly is at $20. I should probably take my Miss T necklace off. It's getting stuck to my arm. Miss T? Oh no, chewed your roof. Oh, I wouldn't like him after that either. No. No. Bree's at 21. And he's a good size. You want to measure him real quick? He was holding a ruler earlier. I got a... Top of his tail about seven inches tall. He could hold your necklace. <laughs> See his little arms, he can hold things. Mm-hmm. Kimberly is at 25. Seven inches tall. We have a fish. 
this this blue bowl that's really cool. In glass, and it anyway. Glows. Isn't that the one that glows? Breeze with? out. Okay. So $25. That was a kangaroo. <laughs> $25 going one. What? $25 going twice. Man, it's coming down out there. Yeah. Cross your fingers. Okay, we're going to say sold. See what Peterson has. Your mom's power is probably already out. That's why I haven't seen her. Or she's just listening and working. Could be. Okay, so Kimberly Porter. Kimberly Porter. Thank you, Kimberly. For number 24. Number 24 went for... It's ran there too, Katie. Yeah, it's coming down nasty. $25. It started getting bad about, like, what, 20, 30 minutes from home yesterday? Yeah. Working, making buntons. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Another thing. You seem to be better luck than me. Better luck than you? Then, okay. There you go. Oh, wait. You want to do a... I don't know. Maybe that... Is that apron up at price? Yes, it is. Your new old stock? We have a new old stock apron. It has the original tag from... Can't does, wait to get your orange purse. That thing's neat. Does Aaron have the gift today? I think he does. I guess I do. I think I've passed my torch. You didn't have your torch for very long. <laughs> oh, yeah, that purse. It should be on its way. Yeah, I don't think they can break that. <sighs> it's so annoying. I don't even want to think about that. Okay, anyways. I have a new old stock apron. It still has its a tag attached right here. And on the back, well, it says a fabric you can lean on by Klopman. And then on the back, it tells you all about it. And then at the very bottom, it's marked 1964. So it's like 57 years old. New old stock, cute little apron. Lucy would have worn one of these. Yeah. All right. It's $14 and it's number one. Great Christmas gift for the very cottage vintage core. home collector. Isn't that what Bianca always says? Cottage core. Yes, she was telling us the different. How about the fish? Would you show that next? Sure. Yes. Barbara Riggs. All right, Barbara. New old stock. Thank you. Okay, you will do the fish next. You can collect flowers in a meadow with that thing. Yeah, right? <laughs> Twirling around. Okay, here's the fish. I thought he was really You really did. Unique. You've been talking about this fish for... I don't know. I like him. I know you I do. like his it's color. Fun. I like his shape. Um, he sits like this on a table. This guy's going to start at $18. He's got my fingerprints all over him. That's about normal. Here's the bottom. He is, he stands. I gotta refresh my phone here. Whoops. He stands about maybe five and a quarter inches tall. He has an open mouth like that. So you can put like a little plant in him if you want. Have it coming out of his beak. I don't know if fish have beaks. Well, we don't have flippers, and you call our arms flippers. Well, that's me. It's different. Oh, I'm not allowed to call it a beak. Pretty apple color, yes. Some, Some do. fish have beaks. Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> All right. See, I don't have good luck. You don't have the touch today. Mm -hmm. So that means you guys, the one I picked, you have to buy it next. <laughs> That just means we got a lot of eBay pictures to take. I yeah. think that fish would be okay on there. Yeah. Okay, the next thing we have is this red Fenton candlestick or uh, votive holder. It has Santa in it. Thanks, Peterson. It has Santa on it. 
This guy was gonna start at $20 for Does this, this thing Vincent glow or piece. something? I don't. I thought you said it did. I think it did, but I can put a candle in it so they can see it. Oh, it, uh, yeah, it glows a little bit. You can see the orange. Oh, yeah. Well, kind of. I need a new light. I say that every time. All right, um, so. Yeah, there you go. Use those. I don't know how well that'll do. But you can. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't help. But it's a candle holder. It's by Fenton and it's red glass with Santa on the front. Norma Jacob. Thank you, Norma. You can put a candle, you can put whatever for Christmas, you know? You can. You can put some eggnog in there. You could drink out. I mean, it has like a bumpy lip, but you could drink out of it, I guess. If you wanted to. Cindy J. It is uh, about four and a half inches tall. You could put little Christmas picks coming out of there. You could maybe, well, no, Santa. Bottle brush tree, Peterson says. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yep. Norma's at 24. Katie says she loves eggnog. I remember always having that as a kid. My mom would get it. Cindy's at 26. I don't know if I've had eggnog. No? Yeah, that doesn't help it out. It kind of like yeah. hides the Santa Claus. Yeah. Maybe the other little candle. So these two are no sales, right? Right, I'm putting them over there. Okay. Eggnog, no, if Virginia says. Doesn't sound very good for a drink. It doesn't sound as good as it tastes, no. It doesn't. Or it definitely like cream can't. Cheese or sour cream, I don't know. Those don't sound very tasty either. Mm -mm. Okay, I see Norma at 28. I'm trying to find a candle for you guys. It's delicious. I'll give it a whirl, Katie. It's, it's thick. It looks like it's thick, like them was it the Burger King iced coffee you got that one time? Oh my gosh, that was gross. All right, let me turn Here's the Here's a little candle in it. That's a little better. Maybe a different color candle, like, so his face would show better, but you're good. Or smaller, like a lower profile, a little tea light. Cindy's out. Okay, so I think, was that it, Norma and her? All right, so I think you can do your thing. Okay. So $28 going once, $28 going twice, tastes like a milkshake, she's right. It's got that, it's thick like that, like a milkshake. I don't, I bet it doesn't taste like a milkshake though, it might have the consistency it's, of one. It, no, it's sweet. It's sweet? Yeah. Okay. Um, We're going to say sold. And that's to Norma Jacob for $28, that's number 23. Thank you, Norma. Keeping my streak alive. Now, so I'm, I'm gonna do all the picking from here on out then, right? You can do all the talking too. I'll I just wanna be do Vanna. that part. <laughs> I'll be Vanna, I'm good. Okay, do... Norma Jacob. Pamela Hammond says, dark Roma eggnog is the bomb. I haven't heard is the bomb in a while. <laughs> I'm on fire. That's right, Peterson. Here's my oh. next pick. This okay. thing. I'm it's a Fenton Swirl. It's that flat price type. Ambery color, but it's a flat price this time. I usually do them as offer ups, but I was able to get a better deal. So it's yes. eight inches wide. Again, it's the Fenton Sorrel. So if you see, you guys see these out at the thrift store, know that it's Fenton. Um, we're just going to do a flat $20 for the 8-inch plate bowl dish thing. And it's number four. Four. No chips, cracks, or repairs. What is this, eBay? <laughs> yep. No. All right. Looks like my streak may be over, too. There's like a few items I went in a row. All right, back to you, I guess. Oh, there you go. You picking me a flower? Mm-hmm. Hi, Danny. Hey. 
Hello, Danny. I know the feeling of scrambling. We have a glass flower, a long stem glass flower. These are gorgeous. The tips of this does glow, the tips of the orange. They it glow does. that yellow color. Um, there's no chips or cracks on these. I had one last week, maybe the week before, that I couldn't sell. I gave it to my mom because it was kind of broken. But um, anyways, this is going to be $20 for the art glass flower, and it's number 21. I usually do these as offer-ups too, but we'll do it as a flat price. Why not? Krista Morgan. Okay. That's number, what did you say, 21? Number now 21. Now look, how do you want to do, just do the other one then? Yeah, I'll just do the other one. Okay. So, Krista Morgan. Okay, so I have one exactly like it. So get your fingers ready again. So get your fingers ready. Again, there's no, let me just triple check, no chips or cracks or anything. It's just another beautiful piece. There are two of the exact same kind. Um, yeah, what can I say? Just beautiful. Again, it's $20 and it's number 20. See, now you're back on a roll again. You just... No, I'm not on a roll. <laughs> I'm, on a, I'm on a crossing my fingers streak. You're all right. Amy Dobbins. Thank you, Amy. I thought we had more of those. No? No, just two flowers. We sold all the other ones. This is another flat priced item. Again, we normally do them off wrap, but we got a good deal. So I have this beautiful... Um, I don't know, they called it like a calla lily or something last time, but it's green. Green and it fades to white. At its tallest point, it's like 15 and three quarters inches tall. So be mindful because your box will be a little longer. This is going to be a flat $30 and it's number nine. That's cool. $30 and this is what I had those flowers in. They looked really pretty in here. Oh yeah, that's right, you did. Krista Morgan. And didn't Krista get a flower? She did. You could put your flower you in put there. Put your flower. Perfect. <gasps> Ew, no. I was gonna say your husband brought you donuts. Yum. Maple bacon. Mm -mm. Okay, Krista Morgan, number nine. What did we have? I think it was like a Wendy's breakfast sandwich, and it was like maple bacon, like um. Yeah. It just didn't flow. Kind of like no. how you can dip your sausage in your pancake syrup. Wasn't the same. I won't eat that again. Nope. But we can give them another shot for breakfast. Well, yeah, for breakfast. Just not that sandwich. No, that was, that was gross. <laughs> I won't eat that sandwich. Any other things? What, I think that's a flat price. Okay, it is. Let me get you a little sticker off there. All right. We have this cool little planter with mushrooms on it. Nice green color, very 70s. It has the original $1.27 price tag stamped in there. There's no chips or cracks or anything. Very cool. It's $14 and it's number two. It's leaving town too, Peterson. Mm. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna give it a second. Ooh. What is it? What did I say? $14 number two? $14 number two is what you Amy, Amy Dobbins. All right. Amy's on a roll also. I will got one of these cool or that green thing over there. Oh. The jadeite basket. Yes, that. It's a jadeite hobnail basket. It is very unique. This is gonna start at 25 for this basket. I did pay up for this because I've never seen it like this before. And I couldn't really find out who made it. Um, when I pulled up the hobnail, everyone was like, oh, Fenton, and I'm like, I don't know. Cause I know there's something about Fenton's bumps. 
so. Yes, they have them. Um, yeah. see, it's gonna start. Okay, we have Barbara in for 25. No, I don't think it glows. No, I don't believe that one. But let me turn the light off. No. No, that would be cool. <sighs> I spy a sweet little sparrow. What's that? Hmm? That's what Danny said. I don't know. Maybe that bird? Or up there? I couldn't some, tell you what it's a some kind. It's a bird. It's a bird. That's all I know. I don't know the difference. I need a new drink. I'll let you hang up. Yeah. Pointy bumps, right? That's what I thought too. This has like more rounded. All right. So I'm going to start to call it. $25 going once, $25 going twice, oh, we have Lottie at $27, all right, we have Lottie at $27, I'm going to call my inner Amanda, can I get a 28 can I get $28? Anybody got 28? <laughs> yeah, that guy's cute. He's a little piece of glass that has a snail and a bird attached to the base. And where did that come from? Katie. That's who they were talking about on the chat. Okay, $27 going once. Oh, in the second shelf. Oh, that's Goebel. Yeah, that's a little Goebel guy. $27 going once. $27 going twice. He is a cute. So is a little kitty. Okay, sold. You know what other birds I like? Like this little, those two birds up at the top. Can you see those orange birds up there? with the flowers in their heads. The one Dee sent me last summer, and then I have a picture, but those are those Czechoslovakian pottery birds, and I just bought another one the other day. I was day. gonna say, didn't you buy another one? I told you I like those, I like the Czechoslovakian birds. Thank you, Lottie. Yes, thank you. Number 30, 32. Number 32, for 27. I got you covered. It is a cool basket. Oh. Yes, you did get a deal. You did, my friend. I think this is a flat price, too. Okay. The other guy didn't do anything. I don't know about this one. Okay, again, I would think Boyd Glass, but I don't see a maker's mark. But she's a like a glass lady figurine. No chips or cracks. She's got that great carnival-y iridescence to her. She's $14 and she's number 12. Thanks, Pat. I am. I call myself eclectic and Aaron calls me electric. $14, number 12. Your grandma had her? Oh, Yeah, they have um, like boys and girls of these. I just, oh, Cindy. So let's put it away. Eclectic electric. That's about right. Cindy J. Thank you, Cindy. Yeah, you got a little bit of everything. Nothing wrong with that. All right. The next thing we have. How did this thing stick? Now, I got this, and the top was taped on, so I didn't realize that there was a little chip in the pottery. But it is so neat. It's this piece of pottery. It's a canister. That is like something on it. I have to scrape off. But look, it's like little wings. And the top is an owl face. So it's an owl shaped piece of pottery, like a canister. But the, the lid was taped on. And I didn't see right here. It's got a chip on the rim right there but gosh it's so neat and you could probably if you wanted take a nail file and sand that down just a smidge um 
I don't know, I loved this piece. Even with the chip, I'm gonna do this one for $20, and it's number 25. $20, number 25. It's like this gray, like a gray green. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know either. A gray green. Oh, my legs. I'm getting like uh, leg cramps or whatever or something. More like they're falling asleep how the chair pushes into the back of my legs. Yeah, these chairs, as your mom would say, are not the most comfortable. Okay, I guess we gotta move on. We can do that red thing in front of you, I guess. Oh, the thing Bianca likes. Yeah, she likes that. All right, we have this. It says, there's a sticker on the bottom that says made in Italy. So this right here, the ribs here really scream like anchor hawking to me. But since it's made in Italy, supposedly, it couldn't be anchor hawking because that's made in the US. But it's got these beautiful painted florals on it. And we were gonna start this at $16. It has this gold rim, and there's a little bit of wear to the gold. Um, here's the bottom. There's the little label, and I don't see a seam anywhere, so I really think that this is like a hand-done piece. I don't see a seam. But, there's the floral. On the bottom, let me see how tall it stands. It's pretty tall. Bye, Angela. Oh, bye, Angela. It's a little boo, just under 11 inches. Just under 11 inches. All right, we'll just give it a second. If not, we'll, we can do this cool thing here. Oh, okay. I think it's like one of my favorites today. Just shy uh, of 11 inches. It's all right. We can be done with that one, Peterson. We're good. Yeah, move we're on. good. We'll move on. All right. Okay, Aaron wants to show this cool bowl. This one's going to start at 25. We have this awesome blue, it's like a turquoise, tealy blue bowl. That looks cool up to the light. It, looks it does. looks cooler than I thought it did. Um, you have all the stuff? In your hand? Uh, yeah, here you go. Here's that. What are you talking about? You have the light, the, can you turn the light off? Oh. <laughs> but it does glow. It glows green. Starts at $25. That glows pretty good. Yeah, it does, especially with my weak old uh. flashlight. Yes. Ooh. Glowing in blue. Interesting, right? Yeah, you don't run across that much. So, here's the bowl there. I was tempted here's to keep the, that one. Here's the back. It's got like normal sort of, you know, scuffing from being on different surfaces. Mm -hmm. It stands about maybe three and a half inches, three and three quarter inches tall. Wrong side of the ruler, Alex. And it's about maybe eight and a quarter inches wide. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have... Pamela Hammond. Thanks, Danny. We have Pamela yes, Hammond at 25. You. Danny, I, w I tell him every day, I wish I had all the goodwills Danny has. He says, Alex, we can't change that. I we know, can't change I that. Can't. Stop being so upset that we don't have. Yes, you can't harp on something you can't change. Yeah. You gotta adapt. And I just wish we had the more of the thrifty places to check versus always having to check antique stores, you know? Move to Vegas. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, Peter, wait, Peterson? I think Peterson said for Katie, can you call this one? Oh, because she wants to make an offer. I think so. Okay. You wish you had flea markets? Yeah. Okay. We got Katie a cool, we do have a cool one now next Oh, week. hey, Rose. Hey, Rose. Rose, did you see um, that it glows? Uh, here. 
See, that's what I need to get, Danny. I need to get like a Murano book or something because everyone says everything is Murano and the more research we do, it is like the most faked piece of glass like on the planet. Mm -hmm. People fake Murano like they fake Louis Vuitton and Coach. You know, so. And even I'm watching we it on the Peterson camera. We have Peterson at 35. Not, it's not really doing it justice. Um, so I really love to get... Um, a book that would help identify Even, it would a little help. more. That's yeah, it would help. It would, that's all it would do, though, because there's because so have... much. And just their logos. I was looking up their mm -hmm. logos online the other day. There's so many different stickers and things. It's... Thank you. Yeah, do that, Danny. Mm -hmm. She said she did a video. She, video. She'll email you the link. Peterson is at 41. <laughs> yes. True. True. Rose is at 42. I was kind of surprised at the extent of how much it glows, you know? Yeah, and it's like that, I love the blue. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the one over there that's blue. Oh, and like, I'll show them. Yeah, if you want to show them. It's so like one. That I didn't really like... see that blue until you put it up to the like to the light. This is on my table. Where's where's the little light? Did we check if this one glows? I I'm gonna say yes. If it does, Sandy's gonna kill me. No, it doesn't. No, but that is. But this is my. Beautiful. This is sitting by my. Um, by the that planter is, I showed you. The blue is very you. similar. This is my other piece that I have. See it? Gorgeous. So I have that sitting by that planter I showed you with the legs sticking out, the ram heads. One looks like. It's chalet. not. Is Chalet signed? Because, I mean, I know it's signed, but is it always signed? Because this isn't signed. It doesn't say anything on it. Mm. I guess I can hold this again. But anyways, I loved it. It matches my stuff. So no, it's not. Sick. She says it's not signed. It is. I agree. The last piece of chalet we had was signed. That's why I asked that. All right, so... We're... Peterson, that, she says she'll take it though, okay? I'm sure. So. All right, I think you Blue. can. Well, I need you to bring yourself here. Just getting a drink, Aaron. I agree, Kitchy Cat. That's a very one of my favorite shades of blue. That, so that's what I was thinking, what Nettie just said. So I don't know how you do that because we're right there. Oh yeah, Peterson, you guys remember if it's at, if it gets to $50, I didn't see that. Um, you guys go in $5 increments. So. Remember. It's hard to remember Y'all, that's a rookie that. move. I forget that sometimes. Wait, I know, me too, because, well, to be fair, I mean, we we have had some things go there, but it's not all the time. No, so. it's, it's, it's not so much. That's okay, Rose. Yeah, no problem. I forget all the time. Don't worry. So it would either, either Rose say you're out and then Peterson does 50 or you go up to 55 if that makes sense. That makes complete sense. Okay. There's, She's at 50. She got it. Rose is on it. Same thing with you, Peterson. Same idea. No, Peterson has to go up in $50 increments. <laughs> uh, but, oh, I guess, here you go. You're the hand model. No. Well, you had the necklace on. These wrinkly things. Oh, stop. Yeah, okay. You betcha. Okay, Rose is at 55. Let us know if you're out. Michelle Peterson. That just sounds so weird. Doesn't Michelle it? Peterson. Mm -hmm. I know too many Michelles. That's why she's always Peterson to me. I'm not trying to take that away from you because I know that's like your God-given name. Peterson out. But Michelle. there's Peterson. too many Michelles. I mean, I think, you know what I mean. I think all, Peterson, all like Michelle, sounds more normal than Michelle Peterson. <laughs> okay, okay, Peterson, Michelle. Fifty-five dollars going once. Fifty-five dollars going twice. 
Okay, sold. We'll wait for Katie to type stop. That's like this guy that, uh, this older man that buys a lot of buttons from us. He refuses to call me Alex. No, he will not. He do calls it. me Alexa. Tells me I don't look like an Alex. So That's I'll. That's a weird thing to tell somebody. <laughs> every email, all the, you know, like, okay, like, thanks, Alex. And then his next name will be like, hi, Alexa. And I'm like, okay. for like the past two years. No, you don't have to hold it. You, oh. I'm just giving you the number. Number three. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, Rose. You're going to love this thing. Did I even say stop? Sold to Rose. For, <laughs> no, you were. For 55. No. Sorry. Telling my Alexa story. Alexa, say stop and sold to Rose. <laughs> no. <laughs> she said sorry. I didn't get that. She did. She never gets nothing. She can't do nothing. All right. Um, you got this. We have a few items left. You got more than a few. One more than a few. Oh. Okay. Well, then you got to go back over everything. So we have this. I think this is great. It's a small little bud vase. Now, you guys know that Kanawa, right? Is that how you pronounce it? I, I've never heard it out loud. Okay, forgive me. Kanawa police. Um, they make a moon and stars pattern as well, but there's something in this little variant that's different from Ellie Smith, moon and stars. But anyways, this does glow. It's a little, you can see the glowy bits. It's a little um, like a bud vase. There's no chips or cracks or anything like that. This guy is going to be $10 and it's number 18. Oh, your Alexa's listening. What is it going on? She said that her Alexa just lit up. Did okay, it? Kara. Number 18. All right. Thank you, Kara. Yes, thank you, Kara. I wonder, do you remember who got the big, tall, blue, glowy thing? I forget. I forget. That was really That was a nice. lot of shows ago. <laughs> Two first names. What's that from? That's some from Talladega Nights, maybe? Mm-mm. Oh, she got a new address, so oh. don't forget. Mm -hmm. I'll put, I'll write a note. Okay. That's easy to forget. It, Especially because um, it saves all your information when I go into yes, pirate ship. I'm glad I saw that. So we could probably me mess with everyone's Alexas if, if they can hear it. Do you want to make these flat prices or do you want to just go with it? <sighs> you might as well go with it. You got time. Okay. We have this beautiful elephant, a mama elephant and baby elephant planter. This is going to start at $16. Um, there is crazing on it, but I didn't see any chips or cracks or anything. Here's the bottom. They just look so happy, don't they? Hmm. Here's the back. That's not a fair fight. So happy. And it's a nice weight. Really nice weight. You could tell it's U.S. pottery. Got a little weight to it. Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. I don't see anything for that one. Super cute, Pamela. <laughs> yes, it's super cute. Wait. Nope. Oh. I got a lag. I don't know if it's a lag or they're just waiting to see if, like, no one else... I don't know. I think so too, Royal Copley. I mean, I know a lot of people say by the little bits that are on the bottom, but there's they they say Royal Copley because of this. But there's a couple other companies oh, okay. that do that too. Huh. Okay, well maybe But maybe. I think I have a book, so I can look him up. You would think you do actually. For Royal Copley. I think. Alright, so I'm gonna start to call it. Okay. Sixteen dollars going once. Well, the elephants. Sixteen dollars going twice. Whoa! Hey. That, why is that drink going in your room? No, nope. don't try to pull that stuff while we're doing live TV. Did your did your uh, twenty ounce Dr Pepper come out of there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, your Dr Pepper that I bought you. Yeah. 
Did you throw it away? Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. No. We got Gaylene Johnson at, at 17. 17. We run across a oh, lot yeah. of different stuff. There's, um, there's a couple other companies. And of course I wouldn't remember because why would I? Because they do spot. something very similar to this. Is it distinctive to the amount of these little ribs here at the bottom? No, or? they just say that because of them. Like most of the pottery is like flat on the bottom. Some mm -hmm. of them have like one piece that comes this way, one piece that comes this way. And gotcha. um, a lot of people like, oh, like I can tell who that is by that. But there's other companies that do it as well. Okay, Humboldt. Nope, Angie Powell is at 18. Learn something new every day. Oh, hi, Mama's Treasures. Hello. Yep, you do. I learn from you guys all the time. Um, looks like... Gaylene's at Johnson. 19. Can you get a 20? Can we get a... Did I tell you the measurements? <laughs> I know. My inner Amanda. We haven't seen Amanda in a minute, have we? No. Let's see. Oh, no. Wrong side of the freaking ruler. Mm. About five and three quarter inches tall. Okay. I think that goes that way. Goes to him. And I'm about eight down. inches long. All right. Looks like the other two participants are out. All right. Very so we good. Have Thank you, guys. Nineteen dollars going once. Is she okay? Oh, okay. I don't blame her. Yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> Nineteen dollars going twice. Okay, we're gonna say sold. How is that possible without like handing your phone over or something though, you know? That'd be tough. Well, maybe she's just not interacting. Oh, like, I gotcha. You know, she might be there, but not taking on, because social media has a lot of poop that comes along with all the good stuff. Yeah. Gaylene Okay, Johnson. so Gaylene, number 17. Four. For oh, 19. 19 dollars. And that's number 17. Thank you, number 17. Amanda is raising chickens and a garden. Okay. Yeah, the last I heard was when she asked if I would do a sale with her, but. Okay, so you got I don't next. blame her. You got that and that. What is that sticker? Oh, is that for him? Yeah. Okay. That's what I was saying. Like, do you just want to say a regular price? Sure, why not? Mm. Which Amanda Peterson or Pamela says? Hot mess, Amanda. Hot mess. I don't know, honestly, what to say for him. We'll just do what you were originally doing then. It's fine. Oh, that's a flat price. Okay. If you want to save that one, I think I'll save him because I don't, I don't know what to do. I'll save him for another time. Maybe put him on eBay because I think he's cool. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. Oh, you don't want to do it? No. All right, we have this milk glass cheese dome um, butter dish type thing. It does have a few, like you can feel the rough spots where some of the little points have little chips in them. Flea bites, chips, whatever you wanna call it. But the important part is on here. This is usually destroyed from them being banged together, but they're fine. But anyways, this guy is $16 and it's number 13. I think it's pretty too. And this, I can, you, this is cut glass. This is not, you can feel the roughness. I just put my cheese on a paper plate nowadays. It feels cut anyway, though I see a mold mark, but it does feel like it's a cut glass versus a molded piece. But anyways. Lottie. Lottie Ward. All right, Lottie. been thinking about deleting Facebook. I've never had a Facebook. And I'm glad you don't. Number 13. I deleted Facebook a long time ago. Um, 
but then as a as a different way for us to source things because again for the billionth time we don't live around anything we read down i read load the little downloaded the app and um i just look on marketplace i don't do anything i don't post anything i don't have any friends i don't nothing i just use it for the marketplace now that you mentioned i haven't seen her either now that you mention mentioning it deirdre still uh, no one's heard from elizabeth gove oh no i haven't seen her mm -mm. huh that's a little bit scary hmm Alrighty. Again, mm -hmm. I don't know much. I know who it is, but I don't know what's going on with. Leave Facebook. Kind of got to have like Instagram in this line of work. Yeah, so. you really, honestly, you sh in this line of work, you should have a Facebook too because it would help. It's free advertisement. I could create a group for you guys if I wanted to for you guys to go over and post all your stuff. How long ago was that, Peterson? But. She's got like, she bought she's some got, like glowy um, Fenton baskets and stuff here. Mm -hmm, she paid we've for not heard and... from her. She had to have, she said last time I, I went to her house and she said yeah. they were saying she was going to have to have a lung transplant. And that's the last time we heard from her. Yeah, because we would deliver her stuff to her. Huh. Okay. Uh, well, anyways, guys, I hate to end this on a somber note, <laughs> but that is show. all of our items that we have uh, for the day. So, um, yeah, we try to keep the Friday one a little short and sweet. Yeah, Danny's gonna Danny's... pop on. Um, well, I think at four. Um, but, anyways, yeah, so, that's what we have for you. Thanks so, for coming. yeah, make sure you leave a thumbs up or something. Me too, Pamela. It's been a while since I've seen her. A while. Ooh, lots of glass. Say, I, I will be there. Well, good luck to you. I will be there. <laughs> good luck. Um, we'll have to do something one of these days, Danny. That would and be cool. Same thing with you, Miss Katie. We'll have to do something. I agree. Um, no problem, Kitty. Again, thank you everybody for coming. Of yes. course, we appreciate y'all spending your Friday with us. Rashida Red says, "Can I get number four, the Fenton Swirl Bowl?" Sure. Yeah, I can write you down for that, Rashida. Just make sure you email us. Um, at chapter two vintage at gmail.com and you would send over your um, I, want, I always want to say eBay your YouTube name your real name your address oh you sent your info last week okay cool I think so um, but I'll write you down for that one let me see your name and he says I can't wait to see you soon yes I am very excited about I this. didn't say anything in case you were keeping that a secret so that's why I hadn't mentioned it yes you, I don't think you followed up with a time on that day. Like, I know you said the afternoon, but. Yes. But anyways, we wrote you down. Yes, and thank Rashida. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Cindy J. It's very nice. We love you, too. Oh, yes. Okay. We'll talk. All right, Perfect. you guys have fun. Make sure you go over and check out Danny's sale. She's on at 4 Eastern. And make sure you pop back in Sunday. I know it's the 4th of July, but we would love to hang out with you guys at 1 p.m. And we'll talk to you guys again really Thanks soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.